this is going to be so like relaxing interview. So no traffic you have to deal with, Mark. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to talk about this project that you're both working on. Mr. Bishop, Detective Sawyer, I'm sorry about your loss, Pastor. Don't think this was a case of road rage. Sarah was found with her hands zip tied to the steering wheel. Oh, no! We obviously know you both from, you know, successful projects before coming together on this one. And, and Mark, you know, um, the Ozark is a, is a fantastic series, uh, and this is is quite different. But I want to talk about the story a little bit. You know, here's this, you know, this pastor um, who uncovers this underworld. Um, what, what do you want audiences to walk away from in, in, in you know, watching a film like this? This may say something about me as a person, but um, I've always thought if somebody, for a year, I mean, like as long as I can remember, if anybody did anything to my family, I wouldn't want to kill them, but I would want to torture them in a, in a way that would make me, that, that they tortured me. But I think there's, uh, I, I think there's something to be said about the fact that he ends up finding a pastor who uh, could maybe uh, put a little moral compass Mm -hmm. into his, uh, mm -hmm. his life. John, I want to introduce you to the man who murdered your daughter. It's time for you to heal, John. So what I love about this is that it is a horror thriller uh, genre. And, you know, that genre is a very different approach to performance. What was it like for both of you to do this? And, and how did that shift your, your acting approach? Well, I hate, I hate uh, Michael, so it was very easy. I wanted to kill him every day. <laughs> I, I think any horror or thriller that I do, you have to find the humor in it in order to, uh, that for me, like I like to find the, the humor in it first and then and then you go uh, in, and then go at it uh, full speed. I think that's an interesting approach. Yeah, especially because people don't wouldn't think that. What about for you, Michael? Because you're also one of the directors on this as uh, as well as, uh, you know, a, a producer. So what about approaching this genre? How is it different for you? You know, for me, the, what attracted me to the script to begin with was this the slow burn in the story. I don't think, you know, I'm an actor first and that's the passion that I have. And that's why I was, I jumped on the other side of the camera and produced and directed to bring this thing to the screen because I actually love the story. You know, it's a popcorn fun movie, but at the end of the day, you can maybe have a drink or dinner afterward and talk about the themes of morality, religion, justice, and, and talk about it a little bit. So getting Mark, I was like, when he uh, was even available, I was like, this is the guy because I knew how important that role was. And he has so much gravitas. Not only is he perfect for the character, but he's an interesting actor. It didn't at, in any way affect the fact that he doesn't like you at all. <laughs> Um, you know what's interesting? That energy might have been like another layer that we had to peel back of the uh, of the onion in there somewhere that enhanced the perf <laughs> <laughs> performance somehow. Who the hell are you guys? Where's my brother? Yeah. A lot of actors I talk to use music as a tool to kind of get into the characters that they play, you know, their own like playlist. Was was that something that either of you did um, just out of curiosity? Because I like the music is also a big part of the storytelling in this. Yeah, I think um, when I read the script, the, the musical aspect of it just jumped off the page to me. And not that it said, oh, here there's music or soundtrack here. I just think it had such a wink at the 80s and all those great films of the early 80s and 90s like Lost Boys, Crow, Judgment Night, so on. And Mark and I talked about this a lot. And Mark and I are both actually musicians. So we got to jam a little here and there, not as much as I would like to, but we were pretty busy and uh, covered in a lot of fake blood. So it was it was hard at times. Daddy, sorry about this. Thank you both, The Retaliators. Check it out. Thank you so much for being here to talk about your amazing journey in this film. And I look forward to talking to you guys again. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media at Melissa DeMarco for more exclusive content with your favorite celebs. I'll see you guys out there. <laughs>